And there's an idea that guys like Krugman want to push down the haves to somehow redistribute and benefit the have-nots. And the other side, of course, is this Republican spirit and this spirit of America that we can lift up with our druthers and bring the bottom up with us. Which can it be? Well, I mean, there's some of both, but the, there is zero evidence that the kind of extreme inequality that we have is good for economic growth. In fact, there's a lot of evidence that it's actually bad for economic growth. Nobody wants us to become Cuba. The question is, do we have to have levels of inequality that are getting close to being the highest levels ever, anywhere? Right? We are we're really starting to reach, set new records here. Is, is that a good thing for anybody? If you, if you look at history, it's our own history, it's not true. I mean, the fact of the matter is, since inequality began soaring around 1980, the bottom half of, of America has been pretty much left behind. It has not been a rising tide that raised old boats. If what we is actually your study look, of history, of economic history, of political history, of, of geopolitics? How does this get solved well, you know, when you get to this width of inequality? American history is actually very encouraging because in America we had um, people, we had leadership, we had people who, actually often people from the uh, affluent classes themselves who said, this is too much, it needs to be reined in. If we could have modern politicians speaking as forthrightly about the danger of high concentration of wealth as Teddy Roosevelt did in 1910, we would be a long way towards having a good solution to this. And I, I actually, I guess I believe that America has a tremendous redemptive capacity and ability to t take a look and say, okay, what, in the end, what, is, what, what are our ideals? What do we want our society to look like? And, and an ability to, to step back. We, we don't have to become this kind of oligarchy that unfortunately we are drifting towards at the moment. We could say oligarchy, which is too many syllables for me. Is this a gilded age that we live in now? Oh, it's, it's a more than gilded age. I mean, we are, we're at gilded age levels of inequality now and we're heading beyond. So yes, it's a, it's a gilded age. It's a belle epoque, as, as uh, Piketty says. Um, it's, it's an era of not just of great inequality, but increasing it looks like inherited inequality. And I think if people understand that, they'll say, you know, we don't want that to happen. And we can do things that are not draconian, not socialist, but in the American tradition to limit that rise in inequality.